What's up guys, welcome back. So on this video, pretty much, we're gonna get cracking on doing the hub assembly on the all-wheel drive EK. As you guys seen already on the last video where Dana was here, Dana's still here actually, so he's gonna be helping me along with Matt, and then you got Ronald McDonald, and you got my retarded ass son. Um, but uh, he ain't gonna do nothing, as you can say. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much gonna be doing the hub assembly on the EK because we are gonna be upgrading to 36 millimeter. Uh, the ones that are currently on the car right now are 32 millimeter and they're just pretty much just done. So I figured, you know, Dana offered me a trade and you guys will see what he got on his channel uh, later on. But uh, we offered, he offered me a trade with some cash on top and I did it. So we ended up going with some hard race hubs with extended studs already on them and it came with the full bearing. So what we need to do pretty much is go ahead and pull out the old hub assembly and rotors and everything else from this duckle and hopefully just get the new ones pressed in with the kit that Matt helped us use that he's gonna let us use actually so if you guys don't if you guys didn't see the last video we ended up finally putting in this damn motor um, which took us how long was it Wow we're right here we, got done like at three. We, we started like at four o'clock in the afternoon and we didn't go to we didn't get it in until almost three o'clock we just had so many issues with it and with the clutch and everything else but it was also when we went to the meet the pop-up meet that um dana ended up throwing so it took our time there but at least you can see engine is in now all the mounts are in there so pretty much now is just tighten up everything and get some new hardware swapped out so so yeah, so now that the engine's in, now we're pretty much just gonna go ahead and do the concentration on the hubs. So we're gonna be waiting for Dana. He's inside taking a shower so that way he can get greasy again and um, help us do these hubs. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do some other stuff real quick off camera um, and that way we can continue making progress. We still have the turbo manifold that needs to be put on with a lot of other stuff that's inside of the car. Um, so that, that way, what I really wanna try to do is start fabricating also all of the dump tubes and everything that needs to go in there so we can put the shift cables on and make sure everything is aligned to where it needs to be. Um, so hopefully we can get that done in this next couple of videos and just see how much progress we can continue making. Cause uh, yeah, I really wanna try to get this car done once and for all so I can at least get it started up. But again, it is gonna be a progress process, but again, we'll see how fast we can get it done. What's it called? My identity or my identity? And uh, they ended up, my, my license was expired. Plus my license was expired. Well, well, okay, I can't use my ID to verify my identity. It has to be updated, it has to be current. Yeah, you'll feel, you'll feel it. Oh, my bad. Gotta replace the ball joints on it. Can you do this? Yeah, prop it. He looks like that long, that long, was it, that long lady knee girl from, uh, from whose video it was, but her knees are like all the way down, it's like bootsy, <laughs> or whatever. Oh, you know what video I'm talking about, Matt? The bigger hammer dog? Yeah, stop being a bitch. You Excuse want my it? language. He always wants the bigger stuff. Swing hey. like you mean it. Hey, like they said, swing the heart. Oh, you feel the impact through your butt on the concrete? <laughs> so normal. normal. Hey, let me see. Okay. You have a snapping plan? So normal breakage is the back one. And then, like, if you're really in deep shit. I'm going to buy some. Well, that's what we need, right? We're going to need them to lock it in. Mm -hmm. You can use a flathead, but... You have to be very careful with your butt when you... Because the butt... Because now you got stuff. Come on, teamwork makes the dream work. Sunday, Mississippi. Oh, shit. Hear it? Hear that thunk? That shit went. Let's go. Dream work makes the dream work makes the dream work. Oh, we don't care about these bearings, son, nope. right? Nope. So now you guys not ring the, the inner? And then you pop the, the bearing up. Yep. Wait, what? Not Alright guys, so I just came back from AutoZone and by the time I came back from picking up these snap ring pliers they ended up pulling out the ball joints and also pretty much the bearings so now we're just going to go ahead and pull out the whole bearing actually they pulled out the hub assembly so yeah, let's go ahead and pull these out now now that I'm back 
I don't gotta leave the work for them anymore to do. <laughs> Especially with you guys get under you guys get back scenes between this fool, bro. Look at it is it is chun chuns almost. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go ahead and get to this and uh, remove it so we can get it back under the car. Alright guys, so one of the bearings is out now from the hub assembly. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the other one and then that we can get the new bearings pressed in along with everything else. Huge shout out to Matt for his tool kit because without that uh, we would have been banging it on the floor, or at least he would have, because he would have been showing me how to do all this. Hey, so he actually was hey, earlier, hey, but you know, it moved a little bit, so <laughs> he ended up chipping my concrete, you know. So, uh, yeah, thank you. I was trying to I thank was you, bro. To, thank I was you, thank to you. Beat his correct tool because I've always done it that way, and then I swung, missed, and I was like, okay, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, something else I gotta fix for the landlord. <laughs> hey, hey, ain't nothing super glue can't fix. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we're gonna go to continue, get the other one on, so that we can get it, everything back on the car once we get everything cleaned up. All right, guys, so both of the bearings are out now. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is degrease everything. Dana and them are gonna take off to go do some stuff real quick and uh, go ahead and pick up his uh, Mario's nephew. So he'll be back later on, but right now we're gonna go ahead and clean all this up, make sure everything is all clean before we put it back onto the car, because uh, of course we won't put dirty shit onto the car. Man, can you hear that car? All right, guys, welcome back. So, pretty much, uh, we do have an issue. Unfortunately, these bearings kit is not going to work with my knuckle setup, and the main reason why is because those are LX hubs, and it did not specify on the box that it needs to be an EX or it has to be the actual accurate integral ones because they are a bigger um, diameter of the bearing. So when we looked at it, we thought they were gonna be the same until we measured it. And you can see that there is a huge difference on it as far as it being you know, wider. So it's not gonna fit on the hub itself, so we can't press it in. So right now we are searching for new um, knuckles for the DC, anywhere from a you know 93 or no 94 and up and also for the ex spindles for the 93 or 92 to uh 2000 ek they have to be ex spindles on those so hopefully we find them but we're gonna go ahead and continue making progress on it on the video so i did put some stuff into it so we did do a little bit of progress um just for now just that way it's out of the way put the manifold back on put the turbo manifold back on all that's on so i ended up painting also the water housing here so that way we can get this matching with the block since I did paint that also. So all that got painted as you can see. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick is put some Honda Bond on the seal so that way we can get this tightened up onto the block and it's out of the way. Um, so I do have, the, like I said, I do have the Honda Bond. So little by little, we're just making a little bit of progress. We're just trying to maintain busy. Meanwhile, we find those knuckles. So um, little by little, it's coming out guys. And what do you guys think? of the build so far now that the motor is finally in the painted engine bay and everything else there's still a lot of stuff that i need to tweak out which is like all the g development g development hardware for the 10 millimeters i need to swap all these out so that way it makes it all uniform and flush and then hopefully i can swap the front suspension from this one from from my car to my wife's domani and the main reason why is because you know i want this to look really clean on her car it's not a show car it's the same suspension so i just want it to look uh, pretty uniform um, I'm not sure if I explained on the last video, but we did have some issues when we did put the motor in and the main issue on it was because these are eBay mounts. I am running these temporarily um, till I can save some money up to get the Hasport ones. And since this is an all wheel drive build, 
the mount back here, when we tried putting it on the high setting, it did not fit on the high setting. So this was was all mounted, but the mount back there on the bracket on the S1 kit sat too far up, so it just didn't work. So for right now, I just ended up putting everything on it right now, um, but I am gonna be go ahead and put the water um, housing on it. So that we can go ahead and get that Honda bonnet locked in place. And we can just continue making progress, you know, little by little, add parts into it and start making uh, things happen. So right now we're just waiting to see if we can find new knuckles. So I thought we can go ahead and get the new bearings hey, hey, pressed in. You, you have a you have a um, you have a flap disc in the grinder. I'll shave that bearing down. Nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and just get this water housing onto there, and we can keep busy. Meanwhile, we wait, see if we can find uh, hubs here locally. And it's like maybe like a mile. Hey, right? hey, hey, is that safe? Yeah, but it's check this. You don't, you don't gotta go do no pull like that. You can just do it down the fucking street. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't go all the way to fucking cactus for all that shit, bro. Like, well, I mean, if you want the full beans, I need the road. He doesn't need all the full beans. You can, you can literally go down where the park all is. All right, guys. So pretty much now, just to keep the ball rolling on the car, because we are waiting to see if this gentleman comes down from Victorville, because we did run into that issue with the hubs not working for our spindles or our knuckle assembly. So I'm gonna keep the ball rolling. Um, I'm gonna end up just putting these uh, titanium studs for the oil pan on the oil pan. Yesterday when we sealed it up, we didn't seal it up fully or anything like that. We just ended up uh, pretty much leaving the oil pan with like two or three bolts underneath. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these, put the studs on here so that way the studs will come out. So that way when it's time to put the oil pan in, it just slides on, locks in, and it makes it easier instead of having to find every single hole to put the bolts through. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that for now. And meanwhile, we wait for them guy to show up with the new knuckles. And again, hopefully those knuckles work hey, because hey, I need it for I'm, I'm it on call too. With him. He's, he's about to be on his way soon. <laughs> My guy over here on his, he's, he's, you know, his van's he's phone, gonna, you know? He's drop the spindle off. He's, he said he's about to leave soon. So, so. all right, you hear from Static, guys. You know, he says right, he's you. on his way. For sure, I appreciate you. So let's go ahead and keep the ball rolling, guys, and get these studs put onto the block. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. I want to be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and to be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose it fits Some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip And lose a gift, oh I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world Alright guys, so pretty much the oil pan studs have been converted now and actually these, like Dana was just stating these are actually D-series studs that you can actually use for the K-series if you guys didn't know the only difference is that you will have extra studs which is a benefit because you can use it for something else that's 10 millimeter. you just gotta convert it over to a stud instead of a bolt, you know so, worked out pretty good now the oil pan is converted so meanwhile we're still waiting for the guy to show up he's probably about about an hour away give or take yeah so that we can do the hopefully and finish up the hubs today so that we can make it as a rolling car once again so we're gonna go ahead and wait for him to show up because that's really all we got to do today all righty guys so pretty much it got late at night unfortunately we're not going to be able to get to doing the hubs today and the knuckle swap and everything else because um thank god for the gentleman that was on young statics um uh, or you know dana's live right and uh he was able to um hook us up with some knuckles from a 95 integra which is what we needed because you guys can clearly see the difference between the hubs here and these ones these are the 32 and then these are the 36 millimeters so as we try to press these in here with the new bearings the bearings are actually just way too big and they will not fit because these are the dx lx spindles exactly so 
EX or the LX DX ones are the same size and we actually needed the EX version because the EX will actually have the bigger bearing to be able to slide in. And so we didn't know that because the box didn't specify that on the box at all. So we went live on Dana's channel and a gentleman by the name of EG8 Jr. Uh, huge shout out to them on Instagram. He actually came down from Victorville and actually donated these hubs and he made the drive and brought them down to us. Unfortunately, it was just too late in the night. Um, he showed up around nine o'clock or so, 9.30. And so I didn't really wanna cause the whole drama of working out here late because you guys already know the problems with HOA. So I don't wanna cause all that negative attention. So. Um, unfortunately, tomorrow, um, Dana is actually taking off tonight in the middle of the night and heading back up north and um, that way he can make it there safely in the morning. So they're going to get some sleep tonight and be able to just make it over there safely. Mainly to avoid the traffic because I ain't trying to deal with that with my twin disc. <laughs> so that is the main reason why I decided just to go ahead and stop the video here. Basically make everything here and we'll probably just do this on the next video. That way it'll get me the motivation to come out here because as you guys already seen, the car is coming along, you know, and the main goal was accomplished. So for me, in the beginning of it, the main goal was to get this whole motor inside and honestly do the valve, um, do the timing chain, do... The, everything that needed to be done so we can get the motor in here and as you guys can see it is hanging in here already Everything's pretty much mounted. It's just mocked up So, you know people can sit there and say it's just you know a uh, clickbait, but it's just a vision for me to keep maintaining um, Well, technically technically it it is in place It's just a few things are going to be changed out while the engine is still in position so um, The most for the most part it's really just doing all the timing stuff and then sealing it and uh, having to do it one time instead of pulling the engine out 20,000 times. So the engine, you know, is sealed, closed up. I mean, outside from like valve cover gasket, it's all easy stuff from the top. And was to get it hung into the car and it's there, so. Yeah, so next so on the next videos, guys, I'm gonna really gonna try to go ahead and make more progress on this because like I said, there's still like how Dana just finished thing. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done to it. The main goal for me was to actually get the motor in here and I really, he give them a huge shout out and a big thank you for coming down and helping me out because if I would have put this engine here in again by myself I would have been struggling because literally just a night before we literally stayed up until three o'clock in the night just to be able to get it in here trying to figure out how everything else was gonna basically mount because we had issues of aligning everything into its proper spot because of course you know everything is not full OEM and it's not original and there's a lot of different aftermarket brands that just don't line up or they line up differently so it's something that we had to accommodate and we made it happen and now it's inside the engine bay safe and sound no scratches on it whatsoever and that's something that I really wanted to accomplish is no scratches because you know being able to paint the whole car myself was a big a task for me and something that I really accomplished and I wanted to keep it you know with no scratches but again huge shout out to Dana and Mario and also David for um, coming no Matt actually um, for coming down and helping me out and again huge shout out to Matt because he actually let me borrow his hub bearing uh, press tool kit so that I can extract it and put the new one in when tomorrow we continue this so basically you guys will see that on the next video but again guys hopefully you guys are as stoked as I am to see more progress of this car because as you guys can clearly see a lot of progress has been made in just a few days with the help of Dana and Mario and Matt so again guys with that being said, this is where we're going to cap out the video. If you guys look for, for more progress of the car, please like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of the build so far. So with that being said, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Till next time. Can I pet that dog?